Sorry, guys. This uh, this is going to come out in two parts, actually, because my gut instinct to stop recording kicked in when my mom knocked on my door. But since I no longer have a video editing software, as you can see, I have no way to clip them together anymore. So this is coming out in a two-part series. This part is going to be on how to do stamina drain. And as I was saying, I am only going to show you how to do it when like you swing your sword or you do a specific action. I am not going to show you how to drain stamina when like your player is running. And there's two reasons for that. One, it's slightly more complicated. And two, Whenever I play games, I think it's annoying, so I'm not going to include it in my game. All right, let's get started. So as before, as I said before, we are going to have, um, we're going to do this using animation events. And if you don't know what an animation event is, then you should watch the previous video. They are these little things that pop up on the top of your uh, things. So, and actually, I just thought of a big brain move. Instead of actually like making a specific event for taking, uh, for basically taking damage, taking stamina damage, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go into scripting and in this begin damage script I am going to simply make a reference to our player health and stuff script phas faz as I like to call it Go into the start method, and we'll say faz equals git component player health and stuff. And then down here, we are simply going to say faz dot git, not git component. Um, we simply want to what do we want to do? Let's look. What is the script called? Take stam damage, and then it takes an integer for damage. As a overload, I believe is what it's called. All right. So faz take stam damage, and now we simply put the amount of damage we want to take. So in this case, I'm just going to hard code it as 10. All right. Now, when we go into here and we hit play, and we swing our sword, you can see we lose a bit of stamina every time. Now, for the fun and complicated part. We got to get that stamina bar to like regenerate over time. So how do we do that? Um, well, truthfully, I don't remember. So this is the fun part of the video called tutorial time. Where, we, where I show you how I research and find um, videos to answer my questions. So, we want to know how to, um, what do we want to know? How to, let's say, just regenerate over time, unity. Let's see what other people do. Ugh, that video is 20 minutes. 
that one's half an hour. This one's one minute, but it's only 2D. Blech. Okay, this one looks okay. 2018. Okay, tip right here. If it's made in 2018 or later, it's probably reliable. Anything that's made before that, like in 2017, is before like a Unity has like some major changes and it doesn't really apply very well to the newer versions. Okay, so let's start with this 1 minute 55. Hello everyone! In the previous video, we created a health bar above a character that is decreased when he meets some death zone. Well, it then Okay. So this guy's Ooh, uh, this guy's is complicated. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, sorry, let me just blast your eardrums out. Okay, updated health, max health, points increased per second. All right, let's see what he puts in the update, because that's sort of what we have to pay attention to. Time. Okay. That's pretty simple. All right, so updated health. So our equivalent number would be just stamp. It would be this number, integer stamp. And then he multi he plus equals it to the points increased per second times time dot delta time. Now, if you know a little bit about the update method, you might be like wondering to yourself, hold on, the update method changes speed depending on the performance of the device. So this uh, thing would refill his health at different speeds if his device was running slower or faster. And ordinarily, that would be true. But because of this thing right here, it is not. When you multiply something by time dot delta time, it causes it to happen in a linear, gradual, over time thing. All right, so this right here is what we are looking for. We're going to go and we're right under the start method is where I like to put my update method. So void update. We want to raise the stamina. So stam. Uh, what does he say exactly? Stam plus equals. Okay, plus equals. That's easy. Plus equals. Right. We need a regeneration value. So, we need a new integer. Not an indexer. Int. Stam regen. All right, stam plus equals stam region. And times time dot delta time. Now, it's getting upset because this is a integer and this is a float which makes this side of the equation into a float technically which doesn't convert into which won't convert back into an integer which is what stamina is and i believe all we need to do is push that to int however i could be wrong i think there might be something special with that worked. Also, we're going to move this bad boy up here. And we're going to set him to public so that we can adjust it. That way, maybe you use an item and you want to adjust how fast you regenerate stamina. 
this setting this as a public integer will allow you to change it from other scripts. All right. Um, so now that that is done, we're going to go into our project assets prefabs and call it a change. And we're going to set our our thing, our stamina regen, simply to one. And I just thought of one last thing. We also need to add a simple check right here to make sure that we're not going above the uh, our maximum amount of stamina. So say if stam um, is less than max stam and We also, just to make it slightly more exact, we set this to equal to, and then we can say minus uh, stam regen. That way you'll never go over, but it might. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I just thought of something better. If stam is greater than max stam, then we simply set it equals max stam. Or, yeah, yeah, that should work. I mean, this isn't technically the most efficient way of doing it, but you know, it's not such, it's not a big deal, or I suspect it's not a big deal. And I also just realized that really quick, we want to do some some similar things down here in these scripts. So we want to make sure that health doesn't go below zero. So we'd say if health is less than zero, then we're just going to set it to zero. Health equals zero. Okay, and we're going to do that for all of these equivalently. So, and be sure to put it between like how you adjust the number itself and then adjusting the slider. You don't want to do it after you adjust the slider because then it won't show up correctly. All right, so if, uh, what is this, stamina? So if stam is less than zero, stam equals zero. And finally, match it. So if stam is less than zero stam equals zero I don't know why I just said stam because this is supposed to be magic all right bada bing bada boom I believe we now should be done So we have our stamina regen set. Let's see how it works. Okay, it doesn't work. Or maybe, this 
All right, so mistakes have been made. So stamina plus equals, okay. I suspect it doesn't like how we converted time into an integer like this, because I guess now that I think about it, time starts at zero and zero, and then it goes up to like 0 0.01, which if you're converting it into an integer would just be zero. And so it would reset back down to zero and it would just stay at zero forever. All right. How to use time delta time with uh, integers unity. Let's see what unity answers use. Usually there's just a simple like, oh, you just need to add an extra doodle dad. Okay. Well, to be honest, this is, uh, this would be easier to just convert it into a float. So we're just going to set these stamina into a float. It shouldn't really, you know, change anything. We do get a couple of errors. Let's see. Don't need to convert that into an integer. And we can just put time delta time right here. Time dot delta time. Okay. And I believe we can still use integer increments as a damage value yeah still works there let's see how it goes now wow it still isn't working I just realized that I've been being silly. Okay. Let's press control Z a bunch. I just thought of something. We're gonna switch it all back to integers again because I wanna test this out. Because I realized what we're doing is we are not updating the UI. So we just have to adjust the stam slider every frame apparently so we go adjust stam slider bada bing bada boom let's see if we can do this cheeky way of integer work All right, it still doesn't work. <sighs> All right, well, fine, fine, we'll do it as a float. X 
stand, can be a float. Float. Ah! That was backwards. Float, and then a C. See if that just works the way it does. Hey, look at that. It's refilling. Oh, yeah. And just to make sure, let's make sure that we're not going, like, above our health. Um, which, or stem, which I think we can see simply by checking the value. Yeah. Okay. It is working as it should. So let's play around with it. See what the best values are. So let's turn it up by 10. Okay. What if we turn it negative? Hey, hey a little bit of a drain there. Yeah, okay. Um, and let's make sure that we stay at zero when we do go down. We're at zero. At least the value is. I don't know if the value will change if it goes below. But if the uh, if the integer or the float is going into the negatives, then when we turn it into the positive, it should take a while to come back. But if it sec we're gonna turn our stamina into a public variable just so that we can see it not a pubic variable a public variable teenager floats Blech. all right let's give it a test Okay, it is going into the negatives, which is no bueno. We don't want that. We have made a mistake yet again. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, right. That's because our check only works when we do the take stamp damage function, but we skip it and go straight to the adjust stamp slider. So all we need to do is copy this and go back up put it in there put our region to negative 20 just so it goes a little faster and it works all right we are in the clear all right ladies and gentlemen i think that's going to be it for today i hope that this helped you along your journey of game development and i will see you next time